Hello everyone, welcome back to Jack Scraps. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I have a World Card Making Day uh, card to share with you. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I've been picking up the Smart, the Craft Smart um, monthly calendar from Michaels over the past couple of years. These are really great. The images on them are absolutely beautiful. But we are not here to talk about the calendar itself. What we're going to talk about is all of the stuff that comes with it. You'll get stickers. You get little punch-out die cuts. All kinds with words. You get frames. This punch is out here. Just lots and lots of goodies. And you even get lots of borders. And I was sitting around wondering what I was going to do with all of these. I had no idea. I don't really use them on the calendar, but I didn't want to throw them away because that's good stuff to use. So I got inspired by Paige Evans, who did a scrapbook layout, and I will insert a photo here to show you. So I thought I would do something similar. What I did one night was I pulled out all of the borders that I had. I went through them to try and figure out what order I might want them to go in. And if you'll notice, she did like a progression in color. So I wanted to do the same. And it was kind of um, tone on tone type of look. So I just started going through pulling them out now she did hers a little different she took and actually made decorative pieces like use the scissors or die cut to um, make it you know decorative edges but a lot of the pieces that I had already had decorative edges to it so I didn't want to have to recreate that so I just used whatever I had so here's one with a scalloped edge so we could have put that in there if we wanted and then the colors kind of just continue to blend into a different layer. So that's what I did. And I came up with a color scheme of what I wanted. And this is the picture of that. So today I was finally able to go into the sewing room and put it all together. And here's what it came out as. This is a five by seven piece of cardstock and I just used white. So all the borders that I picked out along with some keywords, I sewed across the edge and I have a little clip here just showing a little bit of the sewing just so that you get an idea of how that works in case you haven't tried it yet. It's really quite fun. So after I sewed all the papers on and got them the way that I wanted them, I then took my flowers. I used these Petaloo Premier flowers. These I think I got from Michaels, they're Craft Smart, and these American Craft embellishment flowers. 
And then I decided where I was going to place them. Kind of had some strategic ideas about where to put them, kind of with the same color scheme to continue on with that tone on tone color. And then I came up with something like that. So what I'm going to do now is glue these on using my art glitter glue. And there we have it. Voila. So this is our card front. The next thing I did was pick out some cardstock that I like. This is the Basil, I believe, and I got that at Tuesday morning. I cut this out to be seven and an eighth by ten and a fourth. And now we're just going to score this at five and an eighth. We're going to add some glue on the back and adhere this down, giving it about an eighth of an inch border. I used a colored background for the card port because I wanted it to make the actual sewn card pop, and I think this does that. Okay, I think that's pretty straight. Just going to push that down. Fold this over and burnish our crease. And there's our card. I love it. This was fun to make and if you have never sewn before this would be a good opportunity to give it a try. Dig out those scraps or just even make some if you want out of strips of paper this is really easy and it doesn't have to be perfect because it comes out looking beautiful no matter what. So the key things to remember is using a gradation of color when you're correct when you're selecting your strips and then to kind of do tone on tone or matching of the flowers with the color area. I believe Paige Evan actually changed her trim or her thread when she sewed, but I actually just use like a very light cream throughout and I think that looks perfectly fine. So that's it everyone. Thanks a lot for joining me for World Card Making Day. I'll see you next time.